Good afternoon children. Let's begin with our English prose session standard 1. Today we are going to learn lesson Shams Horse Cart. Now this is the story. You all are very excited to listen to the story? Yes. Very good. So let's start the story. Sham started in his horse cart to go to the fair. So what is a fair? See, fair, place where people buy and sell goods, enjoy rides and have a fun. Students, you must have gone to the fair and you have enjoyed a lot. So Sham is going to the fair in his horse cart. So, on the way, Madhu and Mira said, Can we come? Oh yes, said Sham. While going, Sham meet his friends. Their name are Madhu and Mira. And they were asked to Sham, Can we also come? So Sham said, Oh yes, you can. So he is not saying no to his friends. Then, after that, the dog saw them. Who saw them? A dog. Then dog also asked the same question. Can I come? So Sham said, Oh yes. So, after his friends, now who came? Yes, dog. They were going through the fields. While going after the some time, they were moving from the fields. After the some time, the peacock saw them and asked. In the field, who saw them? The peacock. And what he asked? Can I come to the fair? So, what Sham will say? Sham said, Oh yes, you can. So, while going through the field, now who meet him? Yes, the peacock. When they were crossing the river, after through the field, he is taking the peacock, then they were crossing the River. Then, who meet him? Yes, a frog. The frog asked, Can I come to the fair? Then Sham said, Oh yes. So Sham said, Come and sit near me. See in his cart. It is full now. Who all are they sitting here? Yes, first Madhu. And Mira, then dog, then who made them? Peacock. After that, who came? Frog. Understood? Now, they are going. So, all of them had sit. See, near the sham, who sit? Frog sit near the sham. In his behind, Madhu and Mira and dog is there and peacock. Then they saw the fair from a distance. So after seeing the fair from a distance, the peacock was so happy. And what he did? It spread its feathers and started dancing. See in the picture how he has spread his feathers and started dancing. He is getting excited. After seeing the fair from a distance, the peacock started dancing. So what he did? He spread its feathers. But at that time, one feather touched the dog's ear. He sprang up and bark loudly. At that time, 
while the peacock is dancing his one feather touch the dog's ear so that uh, dog has scared he has afraid and you know what the dogs will do which noise they will make so he will make bark he say bow wow and he bark loudly so after that when he bark loudly what happened madhu was frightened means she has scared why the dog has bark loudly then mira fell on the frog madhu was frightened and mira mira fell on the frog and you know where the frog has sit yes frog sit near the sham so then the frog fell on the horse because frog is sitting near the sham and sham is uh, moving that cart so the mira fell on the frog mira fell on the frog and the frog fell on the horse then the horse was so frightened that he ran helter and skelter and he started running or oh, very fast then sham fell off then madhu and mira also fell off one by one all of them fell off after this thing happened that horse has run so fast then sham is also fell off madhu also fell off mira also fell off then it means one by one all of them fell off and the horse kept running and stop when it reached near the fair what happened at that time that horse was frightened and he started running he started kept running and where did he stop he stop near the fair then sham madhu mira the dog the peacock and the frog were all panting when they reached till then the horse become quiet and relax till the sham madhu mira and the dog and peacock till they reach to the fair till that time the horse become quiet and relax because why he ran because he was frightened what happened no that's why then after that they went to the fair and they enjoyed a lot then in the evening they return happily in the horse cart while coming they were so happy that enjoy the rides they had taken so many things from there there are so many shops no in the fair okay now we'll read the lesson from our english balwarti textbook shams horse cart look listen and read aloud sham started in his horse cart to go to the fair on the way madhu and mira said can we come oh yes said sham the dog saw them he asked can i come oh yes said sham then they were going through the fields the peacock saw them and asked can i come to the fair oh yes said sham when they were crossing the river the frog asked can i come to the fair oh yes said all of them sham said come and sit near me they saw the fair from a distance 
The peacock was so happy. It spread its feathers and started dancing. But one feather touched the dog's ear. He sprang up and barked loudly. Madhu was frightened. Mira fell on the frog. The frog fell on the horse. The horse was so frightened that he ran helter skelter. Then Sham fell off. Then Madhu and Mira also fell off. One by one, all of them fell off. The horse kept running and stopped when it reached near the fair. Sham, Madhu, Mira, the dog, the peacock and the frog were all panting when they reached. Till then the horse became quite and relaxed. In the evening they written happily in the horse cart. Children, I hope you must have understood this story. Now, let us see the same meaning of these words. The first, panting. Panting means breathing of short, uh, quick breathes. Means we are breathing very fast. Second number, helter skelter. Means disorder, confusion. How the horse become? Helter skelter. He has been confused what happened and started running. Number three is frightened. Frightened means afraid. And number four, sprang up. Its meaning is to move suddenly or swiftly. Now it's time to do an activity. Now see, listen, tell and write. See, example one as example has given. How to do it? One bird, many birds. One bird means only there is a one. Many means more than one. Okay. So, and we have to put S to the that word. Now, see the first one. One dog. Many dogs. So, we have to put S to the spelling of dog. So, it become many dogs means more than one. Okay, many means more than one. Number two, one peacock and many peacocks. Number three, one horse, many horses. Number four, one field, many fields. Number five, one feather, many feathers. Number six, one river, many rivers. We have to put S and we have to write many. Many means more than one. Number seven, one thing, many things. Number eight, one banana, many bananas. Number nine, one frog. Many frogs. Number 10. One room. Many rooms. Understood? How we write one and many. Now we'll go to the next activity. Now, what we have to do? We have to classify the following animals as domestic animals and wild animals. Now see, which animals they are given. See in the bracket, dog, horse, lion, elephant, cow, frog, peacock and cat. Now these animals we had divided into the two groups. They are domestic animal and wild animals. Now see which animals comes in the domestic animal group. The first one is dog. Dog is a domestic animal. We can kept at our home or our farms also. 
horse, cow and cat. These animals we can keep at our home or our farms. Now wild animals. Now what is wild animal? animals? The animals which are living in the jungle or living in the forest. Okay. Now see which they are. Lion, elephant, frog and peacock. So understood how to classify the animals into two groups. Domestic animals and wild animals. Now we have to unscramble the word. Now the words are given that spelling is incorrect. They are jumbled. So we have to unscramble the words. We have to make the proper word from it. So from the first we can make the word horse cart. Second word from this seer. P E A C O C K. Which word it will make? Peacock. Next number, it will make F I E L D. Field. Next one, T O Y. Toy. And the next one, F A I R. Fair. Understood how to unscramble the words? Thank you. Be safe. Stay at home. Take care.